Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to talk about part pre-positioning and how to get Top Solid to choose the right position for you automatically. One of the challenges with 5-axis positioning is ensuring that your operator can always see, if possible, what's going on during the cut. So what I'm going to do in this case is simulate kind of a problem. This machine here has a rotation limit, let me show you, where the tilt axis can tilt, of course, that far forward and the operator can still see it, but can also tilt that far back and now, of course, the operator can't see anything that's happening. Now, that's just what the machine is capable of. Here, I'm going to show you how to control top solid to get it to where it's always on the operator's side. I'm going to show you a few options. So, to simulate the problem, I'm going to go ahead and select the face here and go to end milling. When I go to end milling, the software is going to pre-position the part and check it out. It is away from me, away from the operator. If I come to here, it's simulating this because I have show machine preview and position. Now, in order to change the rotation here, all I have to do is come to this button here, and you can see Top Solid is giving you every possible angular solution. So if I select that there, it's now going to rotate the part forward and spin the C-axis to 180 to get to the same cut. Pretty cool and pretty simple. Now, why does Top Solid choose to rotate the part back versus forward? Well, it's because it can. There's nothing telling it not to. Now, if you're in the 2016 version or earlier of Top Solid, I'll show you a little magic trick. If I go to the Entities tree here, and I go to Machine, Axis, and I find my Rotation Axis, or my Tilt Axis, pardon me, I can right-click on it, and I can come down here to Edit Strokes. In here, I can say, for example, I don't want to go to the 91 degree on the upper stroke. I want to go to zero only. If I validate that, and I try to do the same cut now, here, the software will only choose to rotate, rotate the part toward the operator. If I come into my WCS solutions here, you can see we don't even give you the other angular solution now because, you, in fact, you have overridden the kinematic capability of the machine. Now, just be careful doing this because if you have a simultaneous cut that needs to tilt back and forth, well, you might run into a little bit of a problem there as well. Now, the next sample I'm going to show you has to do with top solid 2017, the newest version of the Top Solid platform. Here I'm going to open up a copy of a, the same machine, in fact. Inside a new improvement in our machine definitions, you can actually set something pretty cool. If I go to the kinematic and I go to the axis and I go to the A-axis tilt again, in here you can see a preferred working range. You still have the total limits. This way, again, you're covered for those simultaneous cuts. But here, you have a preferred working range. So I can say, I want to work within the minus 139 to 0 degrees. What's interesting now is this. If I go into, again, my test 2 cut here, we'll go back to this tab, and I do the same cut, watch what happens. Here, I'm just going to go to end milling. And the software is going to pre-position the part like it does. And it's toward the operator again. This time, however, if I go to my WCS solutions, I always have the choice to rotate back if I really want to. Again, it's a little improvement, but it's just another improvement that Top Solid has done to put you in the ultimate control of your machine.